Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mark and in this channel, I talk a lot about personal finance and investments. I got a great question from one of you guys and this question goes, will it be a sound strategy if you put in just 50 pesos every day in an equity fund? So I haven't heard of this strategy before, but I actually think that it's brilliant. So thank you to that viewer commenter. Without doing the math, I actually said yes. Theoretically speaking, this is a good strategy. In this video, I'm going to be doing the math. I'm going to be crunching the numbers and see how this minimal investing daily strategy will work out. Will it be worthwhile? Stick around and let's find out. Again, this question was raised in the context of the G-Invest Mutual Fund that was launched last year in 2021. The equity fund that you can get for as low as 50 pesos would be a local Philippine equity fund. If you've watched my previous videos, you know that I have a bit of a preference for the US markets just because I feel like they are more resilient despite being more volatile. They tend to exhibit a better track record in terms of returns over a longer term period. What I actually wanted to do was apply this same strategy but in the context of the US market for the S&P 500. So for this video, what I've done is I've taken the daily price of the S&P 500 in the last 10 years. So I have rows and rows of data here. Buying the S&P 500 would of course mean having to use an app or a global platform where you can do this in. I've shared in many videos that what I use is GoTrade. Let's see how putting in $1 in the S&P 500 would theoretically have worked out in the last 10 years. So putting in $1 every day means that we're buying only fractional shares. So the actual units or the shares would be a fractional decimal amount. So over a period of time, let's see how these fractional shares actually add up based on a 1-year, 3-year, 5-year, 7-year, and 10-year period. So over a 1-year period starting in June 2021 and ending in June 2022, if you'd put in $1 every day into the S&P 500, right now you would have a loss of about 14%. Now I know that's discouraging, but again, this investment strategy is really not about the short term. Really have to think in much longer periods. Returns after one year, definitely a no-go. Let's move on to three years. Your returns now would be a little under 6%. Now I know returns of under 6% over the course of a three-year period is actually still not good. But at least this time, we're no longer at a loss. So over the course of five years, this is where it starts to get interesting. The returns after five years would be just under 20%. Now this is already starting to be better. Now looking at a seven year period, the returns here would be now around 37%. Again, putting in $1 every day into the S&P 500 means that you're not really timing anything. You're not really looking into the news. You're doing this consistently. So I think a 37% return after seven years is quite worthwhile. Lastly, looking at a 10-year period, the returns here would now be a little over 61%. What you would have put in over 10 years would be about $2,500. Converting that to peso, you would have put in around $125,000. And after 10 years, your money would now be worth a little over 200,000 pesos. So what do you think of this strategy? Personally, I'm starting to use it myself. A lot of you might be thinking that it's too tedious to put in such a little amount every day for over a long period and i understand that so if you want to put in a little bit more maybe you can put in two or three dollars every day if you can afford it by all means yes you might want to do that but what's important here is doing it routinely as tedious as it may be the strategy of doing this daily is really about you not timing the market so you would do this without any reference to news you won't have to know what's going on in local and global politics or economics trusting that the u.s market and economy will work itself out but if you're the type of person who's looking at quick gains and maybe you do have the time to look into technical and fundamental analysis of the markets of each company then this strategy might not be for you this strategy is really for a lot of us who don't have the time nor maybe the skills yet to really analyze how and when to enter and exit the market so this strategy as with many things is not for everyone so it's up for you to assess will this type of slow investing be beneficial for you as you lower your cost average and take advantage of the low minimums that the new apps and platforms are now giving us and if you are not yet on GoTrade, you can use this link to get two dollars free when you use my referral code 
998839. That's 998839. Are you going to be using this low investment strategy? If you've liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching, guys, and happy investing.